It's Thursday, November 20th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. You know what I think, America? I think you've been getting a little bit soft lately. Just because our president-elect has been keeping things low-key and our current president has been uh, doing whatever he does, doesn't mean you can just curl up and play World of Warcraft until January 20th. Major cabinet positions are being filled. So it's time you straightened up and showed some respect. America, it's time once again to salute your new overlords. The first newly filled position is the terrifying, imposing Secretary of Health and Human Services. Behold, the fearsome face that will be shoving free health care down our throat whether we like it or not. Yeah, okay, actually it's former Senate Majority Leader Tom Daschle, D. South Dakota. And I don't know if he's going to be so much shoving the health care as politely offering it to you with a side of cooing. So let's try someone else. This next new overlord will be heading up the Department of Homeland Security. But here's the twist. This one's not an overlord at all, but an overlady. Arizona Governor Janet Napolitano. Hey, you thinking about crossing our border illegally? Well, guess what? Janet says no. So just get back to Canada. Finally, or next up actually, John McCain wins the state of Missouri. The AP finally called it for him, allowing the exhausted house band at the Wentzville, Missouri Holiday Inn Armada Room, hired by the Republican Party for a gig they thought would only last one night, to finally, finally play Celebrate Good Times. Finally, now finally, finally it's time to talk about the outgoing Bush administration, so let's slow things down a little bit. There we go. You know, when night falls in the federal city, you start to think about relaxation. You start to think about getting loose. Because when midnight rolls around, all bets are off. And that's why President Bush may use his authority to change as many federal rules as possible before handing things over to Barack Obama. They're called midnight rules, and they could be anything. Relaxing pollution control standards for power plants, allowing loaded weapons into national parks, Come midnight, you've got to be ready for anything. And sure, Congress might try to stop him, or Obama might try to undo those midnight deeds. But in the end, come daybreak, this is one midnight you'll never forget. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash Kotecki for more videos. And don't worry, I don't, right here on Kotecki TV.